Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. My goal today is to save you lots of time and money in the future when it comes to your health. Understand that the majority of our body is made up of water. That water helps keep your skin healthy. It helps promote a healthy weight loss. It purifies your blood. It inhibits bad breath. It enhances your brain proficiency. It improves digestion. It helps headaches, constipation, helps kidney stones, prevents hangovers, controls blood pressure, it regulates your body temperature, and it will also keep you in a good mood. If you're going six, seven, or eight hours with no water, that's like starting your car and not warming it up. If you're getting up and doing your thing throughout the day without drinking, that's not healthy for your body. So your body is going through many metabolic changes and water is required for it to occur. So if you're building up problems and stagnation in your lymphatic system, you need to get that flowing. Because when that doesn't flow, things start to get backed up. So drinking one to two cups of water first thing in the morning will be a blessing for your body. It will help your liver detoxify to get rid of those excessive toxins. That's the function of the liver. It will prepare digestion. This will help your stomach secrete the right amount of enzymes and hydrochloric acid, as well as your intestines to digest your food and assimilate it in your body properly. And drinking water about 20 minutes to a half hour before your first meal will keep you from overeating. Water will keep you much more satisfied. It will make you feel so much fuller. Unfortunately, our body doesn't always tell us that we're thirsty until the later phases. So you may actually be thirsty from dehydration, but you feel hungry. So by drinking a glass of water will help curb your appetite. So if you're going to work out or do any kind of exercise, drink a glass or two of water before. Depending upon the temperature and humidity, as well as how hard you're working out, will protect you against dehydration. And when you're done with your workouts, you need to continue to drink more water, even if you don't feel thirsty. Because even though you're perspiring or sweating, that may dry up with the cool or hot air on your skin. Even though your shirt is not sopping wet, you're still losing fluids. Now what about those germs, those viruses? If you're living with someone who's sick, or you're with someone at work or at school, drink more water. Those viruses do not like water. And when they're in your throat or in your digestive system, drinking water will keep them from stagnating. It will keep them from sitting around. It will wash through your system so your body can excrete it. And when you're sick and under the weather, you need to drink plenty of fluids. This will help accelerate the healing process in your body. This will help build your immune system. Now many of you are thinking, I don't love drinking plain water, it's boring. Well, infuse your water. Make a big pitcher of water and add some oranges or lemons or whatever fruit you like. Or you can even put vegetables in there. Let it sit in the refrigerator overnight and drink it the next day. You'll love it. Now if you're having fatigue and always feeling tired all the time, you're probably dehydrated. Try drinking a nice cool glass of water and see how that water gets through your digestive system and helps flush out those toxins and you will see big changes. Now, did you know that drinking a glass of water can lower your blood pressure? It's true. And if you have high blood pressure or want to get your blood pressure lower, drinking one glass of water before taking a bath may solve many of those problems. So drinking that cup of water about 20 to 30 minutes before each meal will help prepare the digestive system. But do not drink lots of water while eating. That will give you lots of gas. You're diluting the enzymes and that can cause more digestive problems. And it's not a great idea to guzzle lots and lots of water at one time. It can be a burden on the kidneys because your kidneys can only filter out so much water within a given period of time and that can lead to an imbalance of your electrolytes, particularly sodium. Now it's quite common that many people get leg cramps in the middle of the night or first thing in the morning. That charley horse, that sharp pain. 
but by drinking a glass of water before you go to bed can help those leg cramps. Now coming from the Mayo Clinic, one of the most highly recognized hospital institution in the world, they state that drinking one glass of water before you go to bed can help prevent heart attacks and stroke. Water helps the body to thin out the blood, which in turn makes it less likely to form clots. Drinking water also allows the internal organs to work much more efficiently to allow all the hormones and glands to work at its maximum potential. Most heart attacks are known to occur between 6 in the morning and 12 noon. And this is the time when dehydration is at its greatest. And for the majority of the people out there who are constipated, you're dehydrated. Drink your water. So I hope you enjoy this video. My prayers are out there for you and your family. Drink your water. Stay healthy. Please share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.